Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today for the long-awaited M140i LSD review. Now I've had the limited slip diff by BMW M Performance on the car now for a fair few months, probably four or five months uh, off the top of my head. And ever since then, I've received comments to do a review uh, to explain to you what it is like and whether I recommend for you guys at home to get one for your car. Um, I did actually have plans to film this back in February and I actually filmed half of the video back then, but due to obviously the lockdown, my plans did get pushed back and you'll see why later on in the video. So of course, for those of you who didn't see the installation video, I got the LSD fitted at Harwood's BMW in Basingstoke and I cannot comprehend to you how different it feels to drive now. It's night and day, absolutely, for the better as well. Um, so I think what we'll do, we'll enjoy this lovely day, we'll hop in the car, go for a drive, and I'll do my best to convey to you just how amazing this is to drive with an Air Performance LSD. Um, so yeah, I'm heading to Thruxton at the moment um, to basically have a go um, on their skip pan, which is going to be very fun. It's overtaking an M5. See you later, mate. But normally you won't be able to see that. Um, so yeah, I'm heading to Thruxton at the moment um, to have a go on their skip pan, which I'm super excited for. Um, they do warn me that it is very, very slippery. Um, so uh, that's going to be fun. And my tyres are actually due to be changed very soon. They're not completely down, but after the track day, I do feel like I need to change them. Um, so yeah, that's where we're heading at the moment. So obviously I'm not gonna really show you or talk about exactly what it's like at the moment until we get there and get on the skid pan. So we're a couple minutes away now. Um, we'll head on up there, sign in, do a good old health and safety check, and then uh, we'll be out on the skid pan. And I am very, very excited. Okay, we have just arrived at Thruxton. And what is the first thing I see? The GT86. And some of you who follow me on Instagram, I haven't actually yet announced this on YouTube, but I have actually sold my GT86. Um, obviously, most people probably know that from Instagram. Um, but yeah, sad times. And of course, that is the one thing that, uh, well, I think that must be their skid pan car. But anyway, here we are. This is the skid pan. Of course, they basically jet a load of water out onto it to make it super slippery. But I am very, very excited to get out there. And maybe, I wonder if there's enough time where I can have a little go in that, because that would be a bit fun, wouldn't it? But anyway, I need to sign on and uh, get everything sorted. And then we will get this beast out on the pan and show you just how awesome it is with the LSD. Okay. We are all signed on and ready to go. We have the car here. Skid pan is in front of us. So let's get this thing up and running. Now I've been told that I'm, it's gonna take a lot of getting used to because it's very, very slippery out there, especially um, because I have very wide tires. So it's gonna be a little bit different, but certainly a hell of a lot of fun. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn traction completely off, obviously. We don't want that interfering with anything. We're actually gonna put it in paddles as well. I'm gonna stick it in kind of first and second mainly um, as we kind of drive past the GT86 which they use here as a kind of experience car. We're gonna do a bit of a slalom and then the main roundabout section up there. So yeah, let's just give this a go. So we're gonna take it steady, very slippery. Wow, yeah, that's, that's very easy to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. And now, I think we're straight onto the old skid pan. Okay, so, 
Limited slip diff. Okay, that's really slippery. <laughs> <laughs> so limited slip diff basically when this car was new <laughs> it obviously had the open diff so i'm gonna put it in third to try and get a little bit more speed it's funny because you're going so slow but you're going very very sideways <laughs> um so yeah this car had an open diff as standard meaning that basically each of the rear wheels were kind of not working together they were working side by side. So if one wheel were to lose traction and then gain traction, you would find it would be very snappy. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> didn't quite spin. Um, so it was very hard to control when you were, when it was kind of a, a, a sunny day with lots of grip, but you happen to lose a little bit. So if you were to say, go a little bit sideways and then catch grip again, oh, that's a really slippery bit there. <laughs> I've done it again. Um, then you'll find that when you regain traction, it would be awfully twitchy and snappy and it would really throw you off. Um, but now with limited slip diff, I mean, obviously on the, uh, an environment like this, it's a different story because there's either no grip on the inside here or loads of grip out there. Um, so still you are getting a little bit of snaps, but obviously this is not a usual um, kind of environment that you're gonna get. Still, it's so much fun. <laughs> Actually, it's so slippery. <laughs> Ooh, there we go, hear that? Went out onto the uh, the outside bit. But basically, both of those rear wheels, you can feel it. It's just so much more predictable to, to do a slide. Obviously, I'm not getting any sort of decent speed here, but <laughs> you can have so much fun with it. <laughs> out the back um, but hopefully you can kind of see just how the car is behaving here oh there we go <laughs> I'll tell you what it is so fun so fun I've almost got too much power really to use this skid pan I mean that's why the GT86 is a car which they use here about to go out onto the grippy stuff there we go. <laughs> oh, it's just so good. And obviously, when I was out on track down at Goodwood fairly recently, that's when I really noticed the uh, the diff. Um, because when you're at speed, you go into a corner and you lose that back end a little bit. You just feel it being so... Oh, I've done it again. <laughs> it's just so precise. You're, you've got a lot more confidence and it's a lot more predictable. And predictability is what this diff will yield basically you'll find that slides in a general environment are just so much more predictable and it just makes it so much more rewarding to then get the back end out especially on track i mean oh, so much fun so much fun indeed but that is uh, a little bit of fun that we've had on there it's gonna head on back and see if i can get a bit of advice because i'm probably doing something wrong from the instructors here and then we'll go out again because it's a lot of fun i'm enjoying myself now, in hindsight, I was certainly pretty distracted and having way too much fun to properly explain to you guys just how different the LSD is. I mean, even on a normal drive, you're not going mental and you're certainly not going sideways. You still notice differences. There's a good amount of grip at all times, even from standstill or maybe even some loose terrain. I mean, yes, you still get a bit of slip, but hence the name. It's very limited. But then when you are on the limit and you're on track, for example, you just feel so connected to the car and the throttle pedal doesn't equate to which one of the rear wheels has more grip. It equates to both of them, both kicking down an even amount of power, which just makes it so rewarding and so predictable. Now I've mentioned predictability a lot in this video, but it's true. It's the only real way of explaining this diff. And honestly, if you're looking to build an M140i, if you're looking to do a lot of track days, or if you just want to drive a car which feels special, then invest in an LSD you will not look back. It, oh, I'm so glad I've done it. This is one of my favorite mods on this car, without a doubt. <laughs> Got it popping and banging as well. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes. Oh, nearly overcooked that. Oh, that was a good one. That was a very good one. Yes, lad. 
<laughs> oh, it's like I can drive around here normally. No. <laughs> I should do a, a part two to this where I'm on track on the limit and I can kind of speak to you about how I'm feeling the car moving and just how planted it feels like because in this video you're gonna get a different interpretation of what it's like on the limit when you're on the track and you plant it into a corner and you feel that back in going and you correct it it's a completely different scenario to this because I mean max I'm doing like 10 miles an hour but I think we're gonna have one more go and then uh, I might even let Ben have a go because he's helped He's helping me film today, driving with Ben. So I think I might get him in the driver's seat. See how he does. But this does not get old. Absolutely does not get old. <laughs> there we go. I think I have a little bit brave from doing this. Ben, welcome back to the channel. Hello. Now, Ben is very kindly filming the external shots for me today. And I said, you know what, Ben? This is a lot of fun. How about you have a go? Yeah, put that up. <laughs> we could get quite wet yeah. otherwise. So, have you ever been on a skid pan before? Never. Okay, all right. That's, uh, this is gonna be funny. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Have you ever driven a rear wheel drive car before? Uh, no. Well, apart from mine on your channel. But, sliding one? No. Okay, so this could be interesting in the sense that it's very easy to do with this diff. <laughs> there you go. It is. I told, I told you, I don't want a simulator. How hard can it be? <laughs> As it turns out, quite hard. What was that? <laughs> it's not as intimidating as I thought it would be, though. Yeah. It's, it's... The thing with the diff, right, if you're on track, for example, that's when it shines completely. Yeah, it is drying up. When you're on the... Though. Yeah, I think if you go up and go back to the slalom. Yeah, we'll just do one more loop. I think when you're on the limit, and you correct it, or when it slides out on you, that's when it's perfect. See now, now you're on full lock and you put the power in, you can feel it still going it around. It actually works almost better on you, like full lock. Yeah, if you put it at full lock, when you're properly it, sideways, you can feel it working away. And I understand this is gonna be really hard to convey on camera, the, because they're just gonna see two idiots drifting around a bloody skid pan, aren't they? Well, that is that then. Um, the car is now absolutely filthy. Have a look at this. <laughs> but do you know what? I do not care because that out there was so much fun to properly explore and feel the back end of the car. And uh, yeah, a massive thank you goes to Thruxton for allowing me to bring my car out here. And you know what? You guys can do the same too because they actually have a service here where you can bring your own car to experience it on the skid pan. I will leave all the links down below for you, for you guys to go and check out. Honestly, it's well worth doing, especially if you've got a rear wheel drive car. And actually, that little thing's haunting me as well, isn't it? Um, but anyway, like I said, a massive thank you. And also a massive thank you to Ben for filming uh, the exterior shots for this video as well. My hair is going everywhere as per usual. Um, his links will be down in the description as well. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures just to come. <laughs>